right, hey guys, welcome back. In this video, uh, short, quick video, I wanna give you two rules of thumb so that you can know that you're deciding on a good offer, right? What should our buying criteria be, right? The name of the video, how do we decide if it's a good deal or a bad deal? So two rules of thumb, let's jump in. Okay, so the first rule of thumb is very, very easy, okay? At a minimum, I wanna double up every deal I do. So if I buy for 10, I sell for 20. If I buy for 20, I wanna sell for 40. Anything less than that, I'm generally gonna be kind of scraping the edge. I may be wanting to get too much for the property, therefore it's gonna sit for a long time. At the end of the day, I wanna look at what is the 90% of market value. So if market value is 22,000, right? I wanna be priced at 19.5 or 20. I wanna be a little under market value and I wanna make sure with that, I can double up. Right? I can go from 10 to 20, 20 to 40, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, if we can do more than that, double up, triple up, quadruple up, the better. But a base hit in a deal we will run through our system if it can make $10,000 and it is a double up on the offer price of the property. Okay, so pretty easy. Can it double up or better? Okay, so the second way I wanna teach you is just a little simple trick on a financial calculator. You can download this in the App Store. I have it on both my Mac and my phone. You can get it in the App Store, Google Play, whatever. How do we determine the yield on our money? Okay, that's a lot. Uh, that's, that's really what we should be looking at and thinking about on a fundamental level is if I do this deal, what is the yield gonna be? And specifically, you're gonna wanna ask yourself that question. It's pretty easy to calculate if you buy for 10, sell for 30, right? You made 300% or 200%, right? But if you are doing a deal on terms, it gets a little more complicated on how we determine if it's a good deal or not, right? Or if it's gonna generate us enough money. So there's two ways to do it. I'm gonna show you on the computer, the calculator, but the rule of thumb is, can I get my money back in a year? Okay, if you get your money back in a year, you're generally gonna be hitting this range of 70 to 100% yield, all right? So that's generally my, my bottom um, is actually not 70, it's gonna be about 60%, okay? If I can invest my money into a deal and make a 60% annual return, nobody in the world can beat that, right? There's no firm out there, there's no investment group that's gonna be able to beat a 60% return. Now, when you start dropping below that 50, 40, still you're right, nobody's gonna be able to, to beat that, but the problem is your money gets tied up for a long time. I like to be able to get all my money out of a deal in a year or less, uh, and that generally falls in this 60 plus percent range of IRR. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over to the computer uh, and show you a little more what I'm talking about. All right, so over on our computer here, um, this is the 10BII financial calculator. This thing can do so much more that I'm gonna show you. I don't even know how to use anything else, but this is how I would go about calculating uh, my yield on a terms deal, okay? So you can see on my screen here that I have our example. Our purchase price is gonna be $10,000. And in this example, someone's gonna give us $4,000 down. Their monthly payment is gonna be $400. And N is the number of months. Really, this doesn't change the formula if it's over 12, but for simplicity, we'll just say it's a 60 month deal. All right, so what we're gonna do over here on our financial calculator is we're gonna calculate the present value of our money. Okay, what's the current value of it? And then we're gonna put in the number of months and what the payment's gonna be, and it's gonna spit out what our yield is. All right, so let's take a look. So let me show you how to use this, all right? So determining right here, this is your present value, PV, okay? So the present value of this opportunity, if you think about it, you paid 10,000 and you got $4,000 back. So the present value of this asset really is negative $6,000. Right, you paid 10, you only got four back. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna say I've got 4,000, but I paid 10,000, okay? This is gonna give you a negative number, all right? So you're gonna get this negative number and you're gonna click this button here, PV. So your present value is negative. It's negative $6,000, all right? If this is positive, it will not work, all right? So just keep that in mind. Um, your payment, pretty simple, right? What's your monthly payment? Here we got $400. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna clear this, I'm gonna put 400, I'm gonna click payment. So now what's assigned our payment is 400 and our present value is minus 6,000, okay? N is gonna be your number of months, we'll say 60. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna say 60, and put N. So now you've given it all the things it needs in the equation to determine what the yield is. 
okay? So if we look back over here, we've given it the present value, we've given the payment, we've given the number of months, now we simply gotta click this button, okay? And it's gonna pop up what our, really this is IRR, it's yield. It's what's the interest return per year on your money. Okay, so we've given it all of our numbers and it spit out a yield of 78%. So that means if we bought the property for 10,000, we sold it for 4,000 down and 400 a month, we're gonna get around a 78% yield on our money, okay? That's actually not getting all our money back in one year. Um, it's gonna take a little longer, but that's okay. Generally, if I'm getting 70 plus percent of my money, I'm a pretty happy camper. All right, but let's look over here and we can see how this yield is gonna change just by changing these little numbers here. So you get 5,000 down instead of 4,000, okay? Let's come in here and let's go negative, uh, I'm gonna say negative 5,000, okay? I'm gonna set that and just run the same thing. Now we got a 95% return, right? Now let's see if I extended the loan period, okay? Let's see, I extended the loan period to 72. It's gonna be pretty much the same, right? But you can see that as it extends out a little bit, um, your interest goes up. Really, this kind of flat lines after about two years, after about 24 months. So this really isn't gonna change the equation a lot. The things that are gonna be your present value and your payment, all right? And this is what it comes down to at the end of the day. You wanna make sure when you buy that property that you can sell it for a down payment and a monthly payment that are competitive with the market right? Because if the market's charging 2,000 down and 300 a month, but you, in order to get your money back out of the deal correctly, need to charge 5,000 down and 400 a month, well, then you're charging above market and you're probably not going to hit your numbers, right? That's where I see a lot of people make these mistakes is they don't analyze on the front end uh, on what they really need from a terms deal to hit these numbers. So as we kind of land here, this is a quick example of how you use the financial calculator. Um, hopefully that was helpful. At the end of the day, you wanna double up, okay? If you buy for 10, you wanna sell for 20. You wanna remember that that target, that 20,000, needs to have a cushion. It doesn't, you, if the market is selling for 22,000 and you're trying to get 22,000, you don't have, you're, you're really kinda of not competitive. You wanna be below, right? 10 to 20% below. You wanna make sure that number and your acquisition price you can double up or better, okay? And if you're selling on terms, I showed you on the calculator how you can calculate your yield. I like to be above 60%. Ideally, I wanna be 100% or more, because that means I get my money back in a year or very close to it. But at the end of the day, if I can beat that 60 or 70% mark, I'll do the deal, all right? Hopefully this was helpful. Um, at the end of the day, we make our money on the buy. So we gotta make sure we're buying right. And we gotta make sure we're thinking about our exit. All right, hope this helps and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.